Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jessica and this is Nelson, who's not going to speak, one who does not speak. And today we're taste testing the most expensive strawberries that we'll ever put in our mouths. For now, anyways. These are Korean strawberries and they are known for its pure taste, juiciness, and their competitiveness in price point, I think is what I read. However, I, I'm not fully convinced because these strawberries, this beautiful pack of strawberries here, cost a whopping $12. $12, my friends, for 15 strawberries in which one of them are ugly bruised. If I'm going to pay for premium strawberries, which this is what it advertised, there shouldn't be a bruise on it. My husband didn't see it, but anyways, if you take a peek, just this one right here, there's a bruisey section on it, but we're going to probably eat it anyways because this is $12 for 15 strawberries. However, we're about to have, it's about experience and not price, right? Sure. At least that's how I keep telling myself. Because this was a surprise buy from my wonderful husband. So let's open these babies up. Ready? On first opening, you can definitely smell the fresh aroma. And my eye is immediately taken to two things. One, the beautiful glossy finish and the brightness of most of the strawberries. And then this one here. Take a peek at the side. <sighs> Being Asian and cheap, that will not do. Actually, for quality control, that should not have happened. So I am slightly disappointed, but that's okay. It does smell very fresh. They are very pretty. They all seem to have like a perfect shape to them. Like they have that beautiful, very typical strawberry look. They are nice and firm. And when I smell it, ooh, it smells really fresh. Sweet. With high strawberry notes. <laughs> I'm trying to be serious here, but no, it does. It does smell extremely, extremely fresh. Okay, so this is one beautiful strawberry here. Very nice, crisp. I feel like I should be in like fine dining clothes while touching this, <laughs> or white glove service. But instead, I have really bad nail polish that's coming off. Anyways, we're going to wash these and enjoy them. The other thing to note is that. Although these are good sized strawberries, when we looked at them online, it looked like they were like a lot bigger than what we're seeing here. Like literally, it looks like the size of that almost half my hand. This one, well, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. That, that one's pretty big. Maybe it was just kind of misleading because it's held like this. Okay, so he's happy. With oh, look at how perfectly shaped is this one. Oh, it is very glossy though. It almost looks... Fake, yeah. How many do you want to try today? You want to just try one? We'll wash one. I touched this one, so we'll do two. Do you see how ugly that one is? Look at that! Look at that! How could you put this into a a pint of strawberries or a container of strawberries that cost twelve dollars? Ugh! See, this one's pretty. This one's cute. Mmm, this one deserves to be in there. Let's wash these, and then we're going to taste test them. So they are beautifully washed. They are plated because they deserve to be plated. And now we're going to go for the taste test. So this one here is the not-so-nice one. So I'm actually going to use this one as my guinea pig to cut it open to take a look at the inside to see if it's made of gold. Ooh. I think it's just because this one is, like, the ripest of them all, and that's probably why. All right. So, ooh, voila. So, I mean, it's a typical strawberry. That's what it looks like. Oh, oh, oh. Has a really nice sweet fragrance though. Like you can really smell the strawberry. Is it because you haven't smelled the strawberry in like a year and a half? Probably that too. I haven't had a fresh strawberry in quite some time. Mm, oh, and I love the smell of strawberry, so I'm like in euphoria right now. 
Euphoria? Utopia? Which one is it? I can't think. It's 11 p.m., guys. I'm usually in bed by now. But I don't want to risk this going any further. Like, going bad anymore. Okay, so I'm going to cut off the yucky part. Here. See how easy that glides? Oh my gosh, it's not right. I'm going to cut this one in half so my honey and I can share this. It's like 25 cents. Right here. I guess when you look at it that way, it's not that bad. Mmm. <laughs> it tastes like a strawberry. <laughs> no, it is really sweet though. It is really nicely sweet. I think that part of the beauty of eating a strawberry is taking a really big bite. So, I'm gonna take a really big bite. It's, it's silky, it's very juicy, because sometimes when you bite into a strawberry, there's that little bit of a drier center. This has a lot of like, juiciness that's filling my mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. It is really sweet. Like it's sweet with a little hint of tartness at the end. The texture, like, just waves around your tongue. It, it, it just, it coats your tongue. It's really, really, really nice. It's very, very, very silky. It's quite delicious, actually. Mmm. All right, let's have another one. Here, babe. You gonna eat the leaf? You want the leaf? Well, then you gotta bite it. <laughs> I almost like, did a rabbit. What do you think? He likes it. Is it sweet? Do you find it sweeter than other strawberries? Do you like it more than other strawberries? Yeah. <laughs> Would you pay $12 for the strawberry again? Eh, yeah. I think that to really do a really good comparison, you'd actually have to go to Korea to taste the difference, like just to taste it. Because from what I read online, it seems like they weren't even available to be exported here into Canada until November of 2015. So it hasn't actually been in Canada for that long, but apparently it is one of the biggest exporting products from Korea and that's why they're more competitively priced. So if this is competitively priced, I hate to see what uncompetitively priced would be. It does have a really nice aftertaste, guys. It's a very bright and fresh aftertaste, which is nice. I don't know, I'm gonna put the whole thing in my mouth. Mmm. 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 It's so juicy. It's really, really juicy. I think that's the biggest difference, is like how juicy it really, really is. And it has a lot of really nice natural sweetness and flavor to it. So don't get me wrong, very, very enjoyable. Is this something that's in my budget to have every single day? No, it's not. But it is really enjoyable. Mmm. And these won't, definitely wouldn't be ones that you would cook down or put into like pies or smoothies or anything. You would just eat these fresh like this. Which I would. Delicious. Korean strawberries, one. Mm. Korean grapes, zero. Yeah. No, was it, were the Korean grapes or Japanese grapes? Korean grapes. Korean grapes. Yeah, we had um, a couple years ago, we tried this Korean grape. It's like, I think they call it like a slip grape or something like that. We were really excited. I was like, ooh, it's like $14 for a package of grapes. Let's try it. No offense. We just personally, it wasn't our thing. The texture, I was like, ooh. It was really weird. I don't know if you're supposed to eat those, eat the skin. Anyways, definitely prefer these over the grapes. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments below. What is your favorite fruit to eat that's a bit more of an indulgence for us? This will definitely be one of them. And another one are sugar apples. Love sugar apples. Those are so good. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.